to this now. Take a look. A Nevada County man heard some strange sounds in his laundry room, then came down to see this. Can you imagine? He captured the moment that huge black bear somehow got inside his home. Yeah, and he was outside. So let's figure yeah. this out. CBS 13's Anna Giles is in Nevada County with more on what happened here and how firefighters set that bear free. When the Overhill Fire Department got this call, they didn't know what to expect. This isn't something they usually deal with. So what do you bring to a call about a bear? Well, they tell me they brought most of their normal stuff, an axe, a sledgehammer, and some rope. You never know what you might need in this situation. The first thing I saw was, I love wildlife. This is amazing. I have a black bear in my house. Ken Morse has quite a story to tell. A black bear breaking into his laundry room, destroying everything around him. You can see the bear stretching all the way to the ceiling, which Morse says is more than seven feet tall. Washing machines tipped over, the hoses popped. We had to shut off the water, electricity, gas. This is one of the strangest late night calls Overhill Fire Chief Rob Rothenberger has gotten in 33 years. One, how big is the bear? And two, uh, kind of how are we going to get it out of there? I mean, it's like I said, it's not something we deal with on a daily basis. Morse says they all shined flashlights in the bear's eyes to stop it from spotting them because the second they didn't do that, the bear came charging. I thought it was coming through the damn window at me. Uh, I actually took a picture with my, my camera right before that happened, and you can see him like making his pace towards me. Yeah, that was a little breathtaking. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least, you know, you're looking at, you know, right at a, right in a bear's face. How the bear got into the laundry room and how first responders were able to get him out might surprise you. I'll explain coming up on CBS 13 at 6.